Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Mental Health Monday video. Today we are going to be talking about sleep hygiene. So a lot of people report struggling with their sleep. Symptoms of not being able to fall asleep or stay asleep are very common in people who are dealing with anxiety. And so sleep is very, very essential to our just day-to-day -day functioning. We have to rest, our brain has to rest, our body has to rest, it's essential. So not getting good sleep can really have an impact on your mood, your behaviors, and your overall functionality. So today we're gonna to talk about a couple of things that you can use to encourage better sleep hygiene and overall better rest. So one of the first things I always recommend to people who are struggling with their sleep is that you purchase a grounding mat. So these mats are really beneficial. They can help um, reduce inflammation, pain, they increase that energy and they stimulate deeper sleep. So when you open them, they're just very basic mat and you can use it wherever you would like when you sleep so some people will sleep with it kind of up underneath kind of the upper part of their back shoulder other people prefer it more underneath their hips some people will even sleep with it fully under their ankles so you just kind of figure out what position works for you and i highly recommend sleeping with these or doing daily therapy with them. So what you can do is you can stand on the mat barefoot and just kind of work on taking those deep breaths. It comes with very simple cord. And then there's also usually a wristband with a lot of them. This is for you to plug into your cell phone and that will also help you in increasing grounding exercises and awareness throughout the day. So again, if you struggle with sleep, I highly recommend these grounding mats. Um, another thing that I encourage are the face masks for sleep. So we have just kind of your basic ones, and then you have the ones that are a little bit kind of softer, have more material base, whichever one you're comfortable with. They again, encourage kind of that deep darkness that helps facilitate more of that deep sleep. Um, scents are really important as well. And lavender is very, very beneficial. Putting a couple drops of this on the top corner of your pillow, not where you're gonna lay your face, just kind of on the top corner, can really help enhance deeper sleep. Or you can go to Bath and Body Works, and I believe Amazon carries it as well, and order lavender pillow spray. Really beneficial to kind of, again, enhance that calm when you're trying to lay down and sleep. So lavender is very, very beneficial. Next, you wanna make sure that you have a good solid routine before bed, um, making sure that you kind of do the same things every evening. So if it's dinner, take 30 minutes to kind of watch TV, then it's okay. Now I know I need to shower, I need to wash my face, I need to brush my teeth. Maybe it's time for me to start turning off some of the lights in the home. And it's also time for me to start stepping away from that screen time. Ideally, we want to disconnect ourselves from the screen at least 45 minutes before we lay down to try and go to sleep. Looking at monitors just enhances that part of the brain and keeps it awake. And it's very difficult to go from looking at that to shutting it off to immediately sleeping for some people. So again, really be mindful of your screen time. Um, making sure that you pay attention to when and what you eat before bed. So some people, if they eat within an hour before bed, they can feel that inner discomfort and that can aid in them not getting sleep. So just be mindful of making sure that you eat, you know, two hours before you lay down if you notice the closer that you eat, the more you're feeling that. Another thing that I highly encourage is breathing. So laying in bed and just focusing on your breathing, um, you know, some people count sheep. If that's something you would like to do, go ahead. You can count whatever you want, but really focus on your breathing. Um, rainbow breathing cards are amazing. These you can carry throughout the day and they just encourage you to stop. Breathe in and out. When you're trying to sleep, just simply close your eyes and envision yourself holding that. And envision yourself tracing the rainbow, breathing in and out, and see if you can start to let your body relax in that way. Another really helpful tool is the Breathing Buddha. You can order him on Amazon. I highly recommend sitting with him for at least two minutes before you try and go to sleep. So you'll turn him on and you'll notice he turns green. So as he turns green, you're going to want to breathe in. And then when he turns purple, you're going to want to hold that breath. And then as he turns blue, we want to release. 
and then it will repeat those three color cycles again and again you want to do the breathing in the holding and the breathing out spending just a few moments with the breathing Buddha before bed can really enhance and encourage more deep sleep Another really beneficial thing for nighttime are face masks. Um, laying down and doing a face mask at the end of the day and just kind of feeling the coolness, the texture on your face really allows you to just kind of focus and release any tension or pain or anything that you may have going on above the shoulder area. I highly recommend these at least two or three times a week and they're really beneficial as part of self-care. They really are wonderful. Um, the last thing that I recommend for sleep hygiene is journaling. Now, I know a lot of people struggle with journaling. I hear all the time people say, I've tried the journaling. It didn't work for me. And I fully understand. And so what there is, is there are some kind of cheats that we can use. So instead of sitting down and writing dear journal and feeling like you have to put together this paragraph that makes sense, draw what comes to mind. So some people find it really beneficial to just kind of open a book and just start writing sentences of whatever's on their mind. So I'm feeling frustrated. Work didn't go well today. I'm angry at this person. Whatever it is that you have to express, you're expressing it for you. So it doesn't have to flow perfectly and it doesn't even have to make sense as long as you're releasing it from your being. Some people will even draw pictures. Wonderful. Whatever it is that you have to do to get these feelings out of your mind and on paper, it's called a mind dump and it can really help, again, bring the vein back to an area where it relaxes and allows you to get that sleep that you need. So again, if you struggle with sleep, I highly recommend getting the grounding mat and, and using this as part of your daily sleep hygiene. Um, the lavender, the face masks are very, very important to creating an atmosphere where you can enhance your brain to feel that calm. Focus on your breathing. Make sure you get face masks and just really make sure that the area that you're sleeping in is comfortable. Make sure that it's cool enough or warm enough. Whatever it is that your body needs to feel at rest, that's what we want to make our sleep space look like. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. And don't forget that mental health matters.